see the main concept involved is that if from this vertex we draw a median on the opposite edge this median is going to be the perpendicular bisector because the triangle involved is equilateral and the centroid is going to lie on this line and the centroid is going to divide this entire length from let's say A to B here and let's call this O. So the centroid is going to divide this entire length in the ratio 2 is to 1 and we know that the radius of the bigger circle is 9 and therefore X is equal to 9. If x is equal to 9, 2x is equal to 18 and therefore this entire length is 27. Now let's imagine this imaginary line here and consider this smaller triangle. Let's call this ACD and let's call this point E. We know that AE is equal to 27, the entire length minus the diameter of the bigger circle which is 18. So AE is equal to 9. We know that this entire length here is 9 and once again by the same concept this point here the center of the smaller circle is going to divide this entire length AE in the ratio 2 is to 1. So if this center here is let's say P then AP plus PE is equal to 9. If AP is let's say 2Y then PE becomes Y the ratio here is 2 is to 1 this is equal to 9 Y becomes equal to 3. So once again applying the same concept that the centroid is going to divide the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 where the smaller part 1 here represents the radius of the circle. We know that the radius of the smaller circle is 3. In simple words we knew that the entire perpendicular here is 9 and therefore the radius is going to be 9 times 1 by 3. This is going to be 3. How do we solve this quickly in one minute? We know that this much is 9 and therefore the entire length is going to be 9 times 3, 27. We know that the entire thing is 27 and this much is 18 and therefore this much is 9 and the radius of the smaller circle is going to be 9 times 1 by 3 therefore the answer is going to be 3. 3 is the correct answer.